Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shikra. So we're gonna be going over iconic luxury shoes. We're going to be going over the shoes that are pretty much timeless and everyone can pretty much say and do consider them staple pieces to have as far as shoes. And these are the shoes that you really do get your money's worth from. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Okay, so I kind of want to just start off with Chanel. I do feel like Chanel, as far as a luxury brand when it comes to shoes, they do have a good number that are deemed iconic and classic and that, you know, everyone's like, okay, you made a good investment with these shoes. So we can start off with their slingbacks. Their slingbacks are effortless. Their slingbacks are a type of shoe that people from all different ages can wear and it still fits them appropriately. You know, someone who's 53 wearing slingbacks, it looks age appropriate on them. Someone who's 23 wearing slingbacks, they look age appropriate on them, if you know what I mean. Like it doesn't seem like slingbacks, Chanel slingbacks are a shoe that if you wear it at a certain point, people can be like, I don't think you could pull it off. I feel like everyone can pull off slingbacks. Sticking with Chanel are their ballet flats. I know ballet flats are pretty much in right now and you know, they are pretty trendy, but a few years ago, they were out of style. You know, they were out of trend and not a lot of people wore flats. However, Chanel ballet flats, you still kept seeing them. They were still being worn, they were still around. And I think that's a definite good point to like help you see how a shoe is iconic. That even though the trends of ballet flats were not in, Chanel ballet flats were still a thing. And that I think just allows you to know that you made a good investment with those shoes. Okay, so let's go to another heavy hitter. And I know this one you guys are not gonna be surprised about at all, and it is from Hermes. And of course, I'm discussing, I'm talking about their Oran sandals. These and the variations that have come out just lets you know how iconic and wonderful these shoes are. They're very simple as far as design. However, there's just a little like, you know, that spark about them that allows everyone to feel comfortable wearing them. And it elevates your outfit in a way that not every single sandal can do obviously without it looking a little you know too much like you're doing too much here i think the fact of the matter that hermes as a brand is already so you know prestigious and iconic and hard to get with the bags having these sandals have this like you know price point that you know is relatively affordable in like the luxury sense is something that really helps people feel like they have a grasp you know they have a little something from hermes so as far as sandals i will say i think the hermes sandals are pretty much at the top of the list when it comes to iconic Next up is a shoe that I believe this is definitely an iconic shoe, but it just recently became iconic. For for like a certain point, I do think people were like, okay, maybe this is a shoe we're gonna like just throw out and say it was a trend and not iconic. And I'm discussing the Gianvito Rossi Rock Stud heels, Rock Stud line as far as shoes. I think because of the fact that they have reimagined the bags, that is something that has helped the shoes kind of like grasp onto the iconic status. I think it was teetering on, is it going to be iconic or is it going to just be a thing of the past? And I do feel as if now you can definitely say the Rockstead heels are iconic. And the thing is with this style, it's not a simple style, you know, for these Rockstead heels. The pumps are very much, you know, when they first came out, everyone was like, this design, this style, this everything, it just elevates, it works, it works, it works. And I think this is an example of a unique looking shoe that was able and is able to make such an impact that at this stage, everyone has adapted their, like, you know, viewpoint, the way they look at it, the way that it's styled and designed and just been able to really digest it to the point that you're like, yes, this is a staple, this is a classic, there isn't anything like it. And I think with the Rock Stud pump, I think the way it became 
iconic classic shoe is because there isn't anything like it or there wasn't anything like it when this shoe first came out allowing it to cement itself as a iconic classic shoe okay so for this next classic i'm actually going to name two that i think are going head to head as far as like you know which one really is the more classic shoe so these are loafers prada loafers and Gucci loafers. I do feel like Gucci and Prada are very well known for their loafers. And I do believe these shoes are both iconic, but sometimes some people will just waver and say, this one is more iconic compared to the other. Uh, going back to the slimbacks, some people say the Jador slimbacks are the, the iconic ones versus the Chanel slimbacks being the iconic ones. I will say they're both iconic, but as far as which one is a little bit more, I said Chanel compared to Dior, but you know, that's still a very classic and beautiful shoot from Dior. So going back to loafers. So yes, the Prada loafers and the Gucci loafers, very iconic. I think the thing with loafers is the name brand. I think it's the name brand that kind of makes them a whole lot more iconic rather than the actual style because loafers are kind of boring um, in a sense most of the times they are boring but I think because of the way Prada positions itself as far as their style and also Gucci too as, as part of their style it kind of makes sense that a loafer would be iconic from their fashion houses if that makes any sense uh, just like how going back to Chanel the way Chanel positions itself and you know the way it styles itself it makes sense that as far as shoes a sling back would be iconic from them rather than a pump or a heel next up is from monoclonic and these are their hanky seats so as far as a pump that has some dazzle that has a nice shine to it it's definitely the monoclonic and geese's. And I will say this kind of falls in line with the Gianfito Rossi because when these hangisis came out, this design, this style from a luxury brand, I think it was something that people hadn't seen before. So that's why it kind of cemented it to be iconic. I think with a lot of pumps and heels that are considered iconic, it's kind of like first come <laughs> uh, as far as these types of shoes pumps and heels it's kind of like the person who comes out with this design and style first kind of gets the throne and the name of it being iconic because with uh, the Hengisis of course similar styles are out now and designs are out now but because you know Manolo came out first they kind of like win and because they are comfortable as well and I will say there have been a lot of recognizable celebrities who have worn monoclonic hangisies that have helped build it up as well as it having this iconic status. Next up is from Mason Margiela and it is their tabby shoe or their tabby style. I know we've all seen it. I think in the beginning it was really a hit or miss. Either you loved it or you hated it but I think it's gotten to the point now where it's digestible to everyone and it's like this is iconic. You know, this this is a very unique style that came out and it works. And it works in a very, I would say like artsy way. And it's kind of like a shoe that helps you express yourself in a way that I think a lot of people would deem unacceptable in the past when it came to shoe wear because this set this style this shoe style the tappy style is something that if it had come out years and years decades ago i do think it would have been thrown away and people would have not been able to understand it i think fashion has come a long way in how designers are able to express themselves and implement designs that people are, are able to understand and comprehend them a whole lot more so i will definitely say from Mesa margella tabby style tabby shoes they are iconic next up is from celine and it is their madame boots these ankle boots i do believe are pretty iconic and i would say you could consider these more quiet luxury if we're still going with that whole thing i do believe these celine boots are something that have always you know have they've had their for lack of a better word foot 
on people's necks as far as boot styles. Um, and it's a very clean and effortless boot style that can be dressed in so many different ways that I think because of how easy it is to wear it and because I think I mentioned this before, Celine is a brand that you would think an ankle boot would be something that could be iconic from them. Okay, so I'm going to leave you guys with Christian Louboutins and I'm not going to pinpoint a specific shoe uh, from their pumps, from their, you know, classic pumps. And you guys know um, the Socades or um, the Pigalis and like, you know, those are the ones I'm discussing as of right now, like their classic pumps because of the fact that the red bottoms threw everyone out the window when <laughs> when this <laughs> shoe brand started. Uh, just like I said, like sometimes it just takes the right um, company, the right brand to come out with something first compared to everyone else. You know, it's like that with a lot of industries. The first person to come out with it usually is the one who gets the recognition. Unless someone tops it and comes out with an even better design that's overall a thousand percent better but yes just the red bottoms classic pumps iconic although i think in recent years people have been saying you know um you know christian louboutins as shoes are like on their way out i do not believe that i honestly do not believe that at all i do believe their pumps are well known and classic for a reason and they will always be that way Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know on this list if you know, you're know you surprised by some of these shoes that I mentioned as being iconic. I didn't really go into any sneakers because I do feel as if sneakers are like another realm and I could do a different you know video for sneakers, but kind of just wanted to cover these. I do think these shoes are iconic and for the most part, I feel like sometimes they are, uh, it, the list is a bit biased, you know, and it is a bit unfair, I think, as far as the shoes that make the iconic list uh, compared to the shoes that are really amazing and great and people people love them, have loved them for years, but people still are like not letting them be considered iconic. But of course, fashion is subjective, so whatever you like is whatever you like, whatever you think is timeless is whatever, you know, you say so i like i like i always say you know like all this is subjective it's not final law or word but it is like you know i think something a lot of people have the same consensus on but like i said this is subjective so i'm not saying these lists are like the end all be all as always i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if this is your first time watching please make sure to hit the subscribe button and come back for more videos and also please make sure to hit the like button as well Bye.